What's up guys, welcome back to McLaren Media. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace a car battery. So guys, why would you want to change your car battery? Well, for a start, Halfords could charge you up to 15 pounds for doing this. And you can do it for a lot less at home. And all you really ever need is a 10 mil socket and a ratchet and you're ready to go now reasons why you might be wanting to change your car battery out they relatively last anywhere between three and five years depending how big yours is usually they come with guarantees for this i know halfords offer a guarantee but basically like everything car batteries will die over time they die especially when they get too hot and they die especially when they get too cold obviously there's only a certain amount of times you can actually crank a car over I might have heard if you own a diesel vehicle, that can be a lot less than a petrol one, purely because a diesel is harder to crank over, etc, etc. So basically, if your car battery is on the way out, there's usually some telltale signs. Car's harder to start. The car dies overnight in the cold. Um, and just, just to sort of other things. Sometimes the battery light might be on, but I've never actually encountered that. That's usually an alternator problem. But I'm going to show you a few tests you can do to test out your battery. And... Um, make sure it's the actual battery that needs replacing and not an alternator fault so let's get on with doing that the first step is to locate your car battery in the majority of cars it's either in the front or they are sometimes in the boot this is a multimeter you can get them for around 10 pounds on amazon and you simply click it round to volts 20 then touch the red wire to the positive terminal on the battery and the black wire to the negative terminal on the battery. You can see this battery is fully charged and is reading over 12 volts. This is because a car battery is a 12 volt battery. A fully charged battery will read around 12.7 volts. But if we look at this car battery, it's very low and it wouldn't be able to start a car. To check the battery is the issue and it's not an alternator problem, you can start the car and touch the multimeter to the battery terminals and check to see if it's reading between 13 to 14 volts to make sure it's actually being charged as you drive along. Before we start with the battery replacement guys, I just want to take this time to tell you that the majority of cars, when they come with their standard stereo, will need a security key code to basically unlock them when the battery is taken out of the car. Most of the time you can find this in the either the owner's manual or the logbook. There should be like either a four-digit code or a six-digit code or something like that. But you will potentially need that if you're going to be doing this job at home. Usually you'll find, just like mine, I won't show it on video, but it is literally right there on the front, as soon as I open the logbook. So basically... Just bear in mind, you may need that if you still have the standard stereo in the car when changing the battery. If, like me, you've got an aftermarket one, it'll probably just tell you to reset up the system, which is usually just a click of a few buttons. But yeah, just keep that in mind before you do it. So let's get on with changing the battery. First of all, use the 10mm socket to remove the battery brace. These can be in all shapes and sizes, but all do the same job. Next, use the 10mm to remove the nut on the negative terminal. It is important you do this wire first. Then use the 10mm to remove the positive lead. Then take the battery out of the car and recycle it. If you plan on charging up your battery using a battery charger, connect the red cable to the positive terminal and the black cable to the negative terminal and leave it overnight. The next step is to put your new battery back into the car and you must now do the reverse of what you just did. First, reattach the positive lead, then the negative lead. The negative lead may spark a tiny amount, but don't worry, this is normal. Then reattach the battery brace or bracket.
Then go and start the car and make sure everything is working correctly. Then input your stereo key code if the car asks for it. So there we go guys, that is how to change your car battery. It is honestly a really, really easy, straightforward job. It may seem scary at first because you're dealing with the car electrics, but trust me, as long as you do it in the right order, it's fine. And like I said at the start, someone like Halfords can charge up to £15 to do that. A 10mm socket and ratchet, five quid, and then you can do it over and over again. And obviously, trust me, it's really simple. So I really urge you to start changing your own car batteries because it's pretty basic when it comes to how you do it what was that four nuts and the whole thing's off put it back in four nuts back on double check the car and everything absolutely fine so i really urge you to get out there and do that because that's what this channel is about giving it yourself a go remember i'm not a trained mechanic at all i am literally just a hobby mechanic this is something i do in my spare time and i do it for you guys so you can improve your car skills and your car knowledge and that make sure though a few things to keep in mind you know check your car stereo because you want to lock out your stereo um make sure you're putting the deeds on the right way around you don't want to put the positive on the negative terminal and the negative lead on the positive terminal because trust me that will be bad don't take the positive lead off first don't put the negative lead on back on first all that sort of stuff just follow the guide i've made as simple as it is and you'll be fine guys so guys i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope you've learned something i hope you give it yourself a go because trust me it's really really simple using the multimeter again as well you know you, like i said you can get them for like 10 quid they're nothing um but as always guys don't forget to hit that like button it really shows me helping the channel it helps the algorithm get more views to my channel don't please 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 consider subscribing because we're well over 300 now 312 subscribers last time i checked so really really good progress i'm really glad that you guys are really supportive of the channel and you're enjoying the content as always guys i will see you in my next video cheers